Hello everyone, welcome back. Oh, I am so excited to talk about these fragrances that I have just been loving these days. If you have a special fragrance that you think I should try, if you have a special fragrance that you are absolutely loving at the moment, please comment below. If you are new here, I'm Velma, and on this channel we mainly talk about fragrances, but I am going to leave that up to whatever I feel at the moment. I may do lifestyle, I may do vlogging, I may do whatever it is that I want to on this channel, but it is mainly to talk about anti-aging, skincare, lifestyle, and fragrances. So if that's something that you'd be interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so that you can stay informed as to when I upload new content. All right, everyone, so welcome to my home. I just wanted to share with you that I have been loving a few fragrances lately and I am obsessed with these. Now, some of these fragrances are new to my collection. Others um, have been in my collection for a little bit, um, but I haven't gotten around to using them all that much because where I live, these particular fragrances that I'm loving right now are really for the cooler months. And so where I live in Texas, it doesn't get very cold all that like year round, right? There's a few months that it gets very, very cold, but outside of that, it's usually more milder weather. So these I'm loving and I am so excited to talk to you about them. All right, so the first one, um, I wanted to share with you is Hot Couture by Givenchy, and this is the EDP version, the EDP version. Here, oh, this is so delicious. This one is woody and it's sweet, it's powdery, it's an amber fragrance, it has a little bit of spice to it. This is just gorgeous. It is sexy. I love it for nighttime. I love it for when I want something more romantic, maybe even more intimate. And it is just an outstanding fragrance. I get moderate projection and I get a good wear from it. Givenchy puts out great fragrances, as you know, and this one will not disappoint in any way. Now, I just recently came on to the EDT version and I am so excited about that because that one I would definitely wear during the spring and summer. But this one is definitely going to be one that I use during the fall and winter. It is gorgeous. If you have not tried the EDP version, Get yourself a bottle because I am absolutely obsessed with Hot Couture by Givenchy. Now, as I always like to do, I want to inform you of the different notes because if there's something in here that you do not necessarily, like your body chemistry doesn't necessarily agree with or it doesn't wear well on you, then this might be one to skip. Um, Fragrances are very subjective, so depending on your preferences, you know, you might lean one way or the other. For me, this was recommended so many different YouTubers, so many different reviewers on Fragrantica, so many different people have talked about this, and I had never thought to get it for my collection. Well, after listening to a few of the girls that I watch, here on YouTube because I love watching reviews. I, I do, I learn from them. And a few of them talked so highly about this one. And I know that the fragrances that they have enjoyed are usually ones that I like as well. Like we have some common interest or common uh, notes that we like in our fragrances. And so I'm a blind buyer and I went ahead and gave it a shot and I am in love with it. So. Let's talk about the notes. Raspberry, bergamot, and orange in the top notes. In the middle notes, you have pepper, vetiver, and magnolia. And in the base notes, you have sandalwood, amber, and musk. This is Hot Couture 
EDP by Givenchy. The other fragrance that I'm loving at the moment um, is new to my collection. And I talked about this before in um, my November tray. It opens up very different. This is uh, BDK's Gris Charnel. This is a woody, spicy, warm, fruity, sweet fragrance that is earthy and it's a little green. And in the opening, I always say it reminds me of a particular scent, but as it dries down, it is very sultry. It is a nice, sexy, sultry fragrance. Thank goodness I gave it a shot. I wanted to wear it during the Thanksgiving break that I had. We had a couple of outings, we had a couple of gatherings, and it wore very nicely. And my only suggestion is I would spray it on 30 minutes before you were going to go out and be present. Because in the initial spray, it leans very differently than when the base notes and the middle notes come through. So you're going to need a little bit of wear time with that. This is BDK's Gris Charnel. Now, let's talk about the notes in this fragrance. In the top note, you have cardamom, fig, and black tea. I definitely smell the black tea. I'm a tea drinker, and I can definitely smell that in the notes. But like I said, once that dries down, you're going to smell the bourbon. You're going to smell the sandalwood and the tonka bean. So in the middle notes, you have iris, bourbon and vetiver and then in the base notes you have sandalwood and tonka bean this is bdk's great charnel the next one is new to my collection and oh my goodness i am in love with it now i've only been able to wear it for about a week but i am loving this fragrance this here it was a love at first sniff this is Tresor's Midnight Rose by Lancome. This is a fruity rose, sweet, soft and spicy fragrance. Now, it is very romantic and juicy and it's just filled with these beautiful berries that are rich. I, I, I love, love this fragrance, and I'm so glad that I um, added it to my collection. This is perfect for this time of year. Fall and winter is when you wanna wear it. Nighttime, but if you go light, if you spray and walk through, you can get away with wearing it during the daytime as well. Um, you get about moderate wear time on this. It does last, I would say about six hours on you. And to me, that's a pretty good amount of time. So like if you're going out in the evening, it's gonna stay with you throughout the evening when you're wearing it. Um, let's say you're wearing it light during the day and you wanna transition to nighttime, you may just wanna spray a little bit more so that you have that little bit of a, a larger production, projection that larger bubble when you want uh, to have this like for others to be able to smell you now with this one here look how gorgeous the bottle is it is so beautiful i love the colors here the ombre effect classic lancome it's just classy um she's sexy it's beautiful um let's go ahead and talk about the notes now here you're going to have raspberry and rose in the top notes. And the rose is a very delicate rose. It's not sharp, it's not old fashioned. It's very modern, but very light. I smell more of the raspberry than I do the rose. In the middle notes, you have cassis, pink pepper, peony, and jasmine. The pink pepper does come through. And for those of you who may not care for pink pepper, this one is very nicely balanced. So it doesn't like hit you with that abrupt kind of spiciness to it. It's just very 
well blended throughout. And then in the base notes, you have vanilla, musk, and Virginia, Virginia cedar. This is Tresor Midnight Rose by Lancome. The next fragrance that I am completely obsessed with, and I am so glad that it was recommended by Gabby Loves Perfumes. She is a wonderful gal here on YouTube, and she's beautiful, and she has recommended so many fragrances that I absolutely love, and they're all blind buys for me. I love the journey. I love the surprise. I love the mystery. Um, this one here is La Nuit Tresor a la Folie and it's another Lancome fragrance. What I love about this one, the majority of it is creamy. Um, and when I say that, it's a creamy, cashmere, cozy, seductive type of fragrance. This one has vanilla and amber. It also has um, a little bit of a spiciness to it and some floral. Now, I, I don't know, like this, this here is so delicious. This one is so, like I wanna get up on you kind of good. It is, it is, it is so beautifully blended that this is going to attract someone to you. Like that's how good it is, it is, it's alluring, it is sexy, it is sensual, and oh, just so delicious for this time of year. Oh, I absolutely love it. Okay, so I'm obsessed with it, and I just want, I just can't get enough of it. Like, I really can't get enough of it. This one, in the top notes, you have red currant, pear, pink pepper, and bergamot. Then in the middle notes, this is what's so beautiful about this fragrance. It, this is the core. This is the part that makes it so unique and beautiful. You have damask rose, violet, peony, and jasmine. And when that blends with the bourbon vanilla in the base notes, when that blends with the tonka bean in the base notes, it has this creamy, alluring, seductive nature to it. And that's why I love this one so much. Um, it has benzoin, nutmeg, and broxen, patchouli, and woody notes. And the patchouli is not too heavy. It's just perfectly done. This one here is La Unui Tresor a la Folie. All right, so I'm glad I continued to give this one a shot. I know it's so popular and I have not tried the new uh, K. Alley Vanilla Royale. I have not tried that, but I am glad I'm sticking with this one. The Vanilla 28 by K. Alley. This one is a sweet amber vanillic fragrance. It has a little bit of a powderiness to it. And if you know, this is like brown sugar, sweet, thick, warm, yumminess. This is more leaning towards a gourmand fragrance for me. As it stays in your collection, as it continues to be um, sitting on in your case or on your beautiful display, it gets better with time. The juice gets darker over time and it is so delicious. So K. Alley Vanilla 28 is one that I'm loving so much right now. In the top notes, you have a Vanilla Orchid, so beautiful, Jasmine. In the middle notes, Brown Sugar and Tonka Bean. And in the base notes, Amber, Amberwood, Musk, and Patchouli. Again, the patchouli, don't be alarmed by that. Those of you who don't care for patchouli, this one is not heavy on the patchouli. This one is very nicely done because the sweetness in the vanilla, the sweetness in the brown sugar, it just blends so perfectly with that patchouli. Just enough to give it what it needs to be sexy. And that is Kaeli Vanilla 28. All right. 
So Von Kat Fulbert is my next one I'm going to be talking about by Hermes. This one here is the EDP version. Now I am so excited. I have one coming in that's the Eau Delicate and I can't wait to try that because uh, my coworker and dear friend Monica from work suggested that I try this. She always smells so amazing and I had to get this. I did not have it. I wanted it in my collection after smelling her and I thought, gosh, I'm gonna be crushed if it doesn't smell good on my body chemistry. Well, thank God it works. It works and so I have on order the Eau Delicate version of this one as well. So as soon as that one comes in, I'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and talk about it because that one is supposed to be able to be worn during the spring and the summertime. This one is a signature scent for her. It's something that you could use year round, but for me, I prefer this more during the fall and the winter time, but it is classic, it is sophisticated, it is timeless. And this is a Von Kat Fulver by Hermes. All right, so in the top notes, you have hyacinth, orange, ylang ylang, peach, and bergamot. Love the peach in that. It just, it's so juicy, but in a seductive, deep, rich kind of way. In the middle notes, you have orange blossom, gardenia, jasmine, black elder, and iris. And in the base notes, you have amber, sandalwood, patchouli, and vanilla. You might say it's for someone who's more mature. You know, my daughter, the young gals still in high school, things like that. Maybe not so much, they wouldn't lean for this. But for us that are a little bit older, and I, it's all relative, but I would suggest some maybe 30s, 40s, 50s, and on up. Um, this is a beautiful, elegant, sophisticated, sexy fragrance that you will not go wrong with in having this in your collection. And I'm obsessed with it, I can't get enough, and that is Von Cat Faubert by Hermes. All right, now the last one I wanna talk to you about um, is one that I love, it is Moon Dance, and this is a luxury con collection um, by Juliet Has a Gun. This one here is a white floral. It's actually like a mixed floral. You've got a variety of different florals in this, and it actually, I believe it has quite a few florals in it, but you'll have tuberose, you'll have violet, you have rose, you have a little bit of citrus, um, so let's go ahead and see. This one here can be used pretty much throughout the entire year, except for when it's like hotter during the summer. Now, if you have a mild or climate, um, you can get away with it at any time. But I love this for daytime or nighttime. I tend to lean dust fragrance more during the evenings, but this one here is just, it's, It is what I think of this fragrance. I want to say that I'm thinking of a romantic date, something that's a little bit more intimate, something a little bit more, um, you want more of a closeness, bringing someone in a little bit closer type, romantic type fragrance, um, date night. Um, an elegant evening, um, an event that you may be going to that you need something a little bit more formal. Um, that's just how I see this fragrance being worn. All right, let's go ahead and talk about the notes so you can see whether you like it or not. Now, for this one, Bergamot opens it up in the top notes. Middle notes, you have tuberose, violet, and rose, and in the base notes, patchouli. Now, 
This one here is definitely heavier on the patchouli. Like you have to like patchouli, I think, in order to like this fragrance. And I and I do. I happen to, it patchouli just works very well on my skin. I love it for this time of year. I think it's very a, a sexy note. And so this is Moon Dance by Juliet Has a Gun. All right, everyone. These are the fragrances that I'm loving at this moment. I hope that you have enjoyed this video. As you all know, with love, anything is possible. All right, everyone, take care, and I'll see you back in the next one. Bye.